Good morning, Linux fans. Here we are at SEMA 2018 and the show. Day two, right? Day two. Feels like we've been here for like three and a half weeks. But listen, this is our favorite day of the show because we are at the Linux booth for the 25th anniversary. And that's a big deal because Linux, when they do something, they do it really, really big. Huge. Like, you know, like they pull out all the stops. So, what I mean by that is they decided to let us and Jesse James from West Coast Choppers do whatever we wanted with two different stops, which if you know us, that is a very dangerous, dangerous combination. So what we were able to do is put together this 2018, 2018 or 19, Hans? 2019 Ram 3500. This truck, when we got it, it was a blank canvas. It was black, four-door, long bed. And to be honest with you, we had a little bit of like a, I don't wanna call it rider's block, but we had a moment there where we were like, which direction do we go? Because you've seen our trucks. We go big six doors, monsters, military trucks. But as we started talking to our guys in the shop, we said we want to build something a little bit more practical, a little bit more usable, and something that Linex could take all over the country to show different dealers and customers at different shows. That's where this bad boy came in hand. And honestly, I couldn't be happier with it. And neither could be so Dave, because it's got a built-in nap pod on top. Exactly, you can drive this through the mountain, through all the bush, you don't have to worry about scratching your paint. You look cool, you got a camp pod, plus all the goodies on the back. Yeah, you want so to show them? That's a good point. Right here, check this out. So when you see a truck that's a cool color like this, usually it's a vinyl wrap, right? Well, I'll be the first to tell you right now that I hate vinyl wraps because it's nothing more than just a pack in your truck. You hit with a branch or something like that, your wrap's coming off, you gotta redo that whole panel. This right here, even though it looks like vinyl or it looks like a nice paint, this is Linex. And it's a very fine texture. This is the Linex Ultra material. And I'll be very honest with you, this is my favorite way to coat a truck because it's durable, it's dent resistant. I mean, you've seen the commercials, you've seen what Linex is capable of. You could Linex an egg and drop it off the top of the roof and it's not gonna crack. Like, the stuff is legit. The science behind this product is, like, it, it far exceeds anybody else. There's just no comparison. There's a lot of cheap bed lines in the market, so there's a reason why it's cheap. So, I'm not doing this just to be a commercial for Linex. I'm doing this because I legitimately use the product at the shop, and that's why this shop, is, or this truck, is covered head to toe. So let's take a look at the back. This is kind of like base camp, right? This is the Lightner Designs uh, kind of a chase bed rack. And the purpose behind this is to be able to mount anything that you want. So we've got the max tracks and the traction pads that if you get stuck, so we're gonna need the tires. I don't think this truck's gonna get stuck, but if it's capable, this guy's gonna be the one to make it. Yeah, I'll get it stuck. Right? Uh, from there, you've got all these different storage compartments, right? So you've got all sorts of built-in storage. You can put your food, you can put tools, you can put trail supplies. And then the chase rack is modular, so you can mount all sorts of different components to it, such as the rooftop tent. So this is done. You want to take it uh, upstairs? Uh, you want know, to take, take a trip? Take a Come ride. on, let's go. That's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna let you go first because you won't be able to see past me. You guys put this together right, right? So what you've got up here is like a full-blown size mattress up there. I have personally taken my whole family camping in here and if you have an eight, uh, seven year old, a three year old and a one year old kid, you know how terrible camping would be like. And I'm not just talking terrible, really I'm nice. talking like worst experience of your life. But I took my family, I loaded my kids in here. It's actually legit. Is that a memory foam? That is a memory foam pad in there. So definitely a very, very cool uh, part to build. For us, it's important to be able to have somewhere like get away, decompress. I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of Linex employees up there kind of like taking, you know, taking five. I'm not gonna name names, but this is hands down one of the coolest parts of the build. As you move around up front, you can see we decided to keep the truck, I don't wanna say simple, but just functional and clean. You've got the MRAX roof rack, you've got the KC lights up top. Those lights literally light up the entire forest. Like, you can put those things on at night and see the next county. Super bright, 40 inch tire, 20 inch wheels. You've got the eight inch McGoy's lift. You've got the flog bumper up front. It's just clean, it's functional, and it flat out works. So, I'm pumped that Linex gave us the range of this build. Jesse James also built something that's a complete contrast to this truck. He built the uh, first Dodge Cummins dually with a welder bed. That truck's super clean. But listen, at the end of the day, you need to get here to the Linex booth and check out these two trucks because I don't care what your preference or what your tastes are in truck, you're gonna find something here that you like. So come check us out at Linex and we'll find it, right? Oh yeah. That's it. Well, what other coolers? belt can you lean against at SEMA and not get your butt kicked? Well, I don't know. We broke stuff in the Linex booth last year, so we're being very careful to just Hang gently... On. Oh, why? Not too much? Nobody killed me. braver than I am. <laughs> Thanks, Linex fans.
Russian. Are we giving this what? Yeah. So, Linux fans, one last thing. This cooler right here is made by Truck Gear. Now you may be wondering, who's Truck Gear? Truck Gear is Linux's venture into truck accessories and parts. And if their accessories and parts are anything like their bed liner, it's obviously gonna be the best, most durable, strongest on the market. So, this cooler right here matches the build perfectly. Obviously, you know, it's ready to go anywhere. Cooler's ready to do anything. We're gonna sign it and give it away to one lucky winner. So, you're welcome. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if you're Where'd you get the big marker? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta come prepared, man. Did you really bring that from home? Yep. Oh, you're just doing a completely different signature today than your normal? It's like you don't even know me anymore. It's be limited edition, I guess. Somebody went 330 miles an hour with this cooler. I'll tell you what, I haven't gone 330 miles per hour combined in any vehicle in a month. That's not true. At one time. Diesel Dave was here, and guess what? Guess who else was here? Heavy D! I really chose a bad part of sign. I thought you were just gonna go left side. There you go, my friends. The truck air cooler. Also, truck gear's got steps on this truck. You can get in it. They're like a rock slider step combo. Super cool stuff. Come check it out at SEMA 2018. And uh, good luck to whoever takes home the cooler. Enjoy.